Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Command Creativity and welcome back to the Sell series. Now in this section, we're gonna start creating our online store for selling digital products online. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, and I do wanna remind you one more time that if you wanna see an example store created entirely using cells, feel free to check out commandcreativity.com, linked below in the description. Now, feel free to check out the design and how it functions because our store is gonna look and feel pretty similar to how this one operates. All right, and one last thing that I do wanna mention is that this folder, Cells Demo Store, is available for free on our store, and it contains all the essential assets that you'll need to follow along. And as well, if you do wanna create custom graphics for your store, we do have templates that are very helpful when you do wanna create those custom elements for your store. Also, there's this really important PDF that I think will be extremely helpful if you just wanna play around with Cells, and it contains product titles and descriptions, so this is going to save you a lot of time where you don't have to come up with the details on your own. All right, so now's the time where we can begin our free 14-day trial to create our online store and navigate to selz.com and tap on this nice big green button called Get Started. All right, and using the power of editing, I'm gonna fill out this form in about one second, so here we go. All right, so I just finished this form, and now let's just tap Sign Up. Okay, and we do have a quick little capture to fill to make sure we're not a robot, and I'll meet you on the other side here. Okay, great, now there's a couple little forms that you need to fill out to help cells better understand what type of business you are. So there's gonna be this form, and once you tap next, there's gonna be one other form. So I'm gonna fill these out, and using editing one more time, I'm gonna fly right past these. Okay, so I just finished those two forms and congratulations, you successfully created your own sales account. Now, before we do add our first product, let's open up settings in general and just complete a couple more details that we need to, such as our store logos, icons, and descriptions. So I'm just gonna fill this out and I'll meet you guys once this is completed. Nice, so I just completed this form and now that all of these details are filled out, feel free to use those images that are found in the cells demo store folder that you can download. But once that is completed, just tap on save. And to make sure all of our profile images and things are correctly updated, let's log out of our account and then quickly log back in. Okay, so now let's add our first item to our cell store. So what you wanna do is under general, under items, tap on all, and then click on this nice big button that says add an item. And since our series is gonna focus on digital products, just tap on digital. And if you do have any questions about setting up physical products or service products, let me know down below in the comment section. Sweet. So tap on digital, and right now I'm just gonna to run you through a couple of these items on this page here. So basically this whole section up here is where you upload your files that you wanna sell since this is a digital product. Now you can upload up to 50 files with a max of 15 gigabytes per file. And Cells accepts a lot of different file formats so feel free to play around with these. Now all you have to do to upload a product is to find your product. I'm gonna find it in the store essentials folder under our products and our first product and drag and drop our PDF in here. So just click and drag on our window and Cells will know that's the product that you wanna sell. And since this product is a PDF, that means you also have the option to stamp this PDF with the buyer information. This means that this product cannot be redistributed to other people who have not bought it. Great, and you can drag multiple files in here if you would like. And right here is where you upload the title and the description. And down here is where you upload the thumbnail and any videos or audio files that you want to better explain your product. So what I'm gonna do is upload a nice little thumbnail here using my handy dandy store essentials folder and find the product one thumbnail. There we go. And then I'm gonna enter the title in the description and I'll meet you once these guys are filled in. All right, so I just filled in those pieces of information. Now I wanna run you through the pricing section. Now feel free to choose your currency if you're not based in the United States. And for a price, I'm gonna use a price point of $4.99 for this item. So just tap in $4.99, there we go. And if you wanna add a free product, just click the free box right here. And if you want to make it look like your item is on a sale, you can enter an original price and then this price will be the current price. So we'll have the original price crossed out and say it's on a discount. Now one other thing that you can use is the pay what you want feature. So this will have a minimum price of $4.99 or it can have a minimum price of free. And then the person who wants to buy the product can pay more if they want to donate or feel generous. So that's a really cool feature that I use on my own Command Creativity website where people can pay a higher price if they wanna to donate to our channel.
Now for the inventory here, we're gonna sell unlimited products because it is just a download and it's not something that we need to sell or ship to people. And I'm gonna add a SKU or a stock keeping unit of Focus 001, just so I can help myself understand what product I'm selling and just to be organized. Now up here we have multiple different tabs. We have categories, which we can add our product to a specific category that's already created for us. Now I'll run you through this in a future video. We have our licenses. So if our product needs a license key, we can have sales automatically generate a license key. We can use a remote service too, or we can pull a license key from a predefined list. And we also have our SEO section. So this makes all of our products discoverable through Google, and it just assists the search engine when finding our product. So I'm gonna fill this out using the store details PDF using our description and our custom URL. And I'll meet you guys again once this is complete. Okay, so I just filled in the description and the custom URL. I'm gonna leave the title blank because it's gonna use the predefined detail title for our item, which is Introduction to Manual Photography Guide. And then just tap Save and we'll be brought to our list of items. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a couple more products to this list using the same techniques that I just covered in this past couple of minutes. So I'll meet you guys once all of these items are filled in. Okay, great. So I just finished uploading all of the other products to the sales store here, and I followed the exact same method that I did for when we uploaded our introduction to manual photography guide. Now I used the store details PDF so I could just copy and paste the titles and descriptions, as well as see the price and the inventory names and everything. And feel free to use that by finding that in the folder that you can download. Now there's so much more that we have to do to our online store, but I just wanted to focus on this aspect of the store because it's crucial to selling products. Products. Now I can't wait for the rest of the series and I hope you'll follow along and if you do have any questions let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.